A big milestone is coming up for India's space agency, the Indian Space Research Organization. For the first time ever, ISRO will be performing a commercial mission with its heaviest rocket. In our next report, we on correspondent Siddharth MP takes us through a flurry of activities and preparations that are currently underway for this high-profile mission. Take a look. The Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, or the GSLV Mark III, is India's largest and heaviest rocket. It's a magnificent piece of engineering, nearly 44 meters tall and weighing up to 640 tons. So far, the rocket has had four flights in the year 2014, 2017, 2018 and 2019. And believe it or not, all of them have been successful. It was this very rocket that carried out India's second moon mission, Chandrayaan-2, in the year 2019. However, so far, all the four launches of the GSLV Mark III have been for India's own scientific needs. For commercial purposes, India employs its smaller rocket known as the PSLV or Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. The PSLV rocket has so far launched well over 300 satellites that have come from 36 nations. Being a smaller rocket, the PSLV can lift a maximum weight of 1.75 tons to low Earth orbit, which is roughly around 500 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The 1.75 tons of the PSLV is a very small payload capacity, given that the rockets from competing nations can launch payloads well over 20 tons to low Earth orbit. That's where the GSLV Mark III comes in. The rocket can launch nearly 10 tons of weight to low Earth orbit. In a first, UK-based company OneWeb has signed a contract for two launches of their satellites on ISRO's GSLV Mark III rocket. Marking the entry of India's largest and heaviest rocket into the global league of commercially available medium-lift rockets. The OneWeb's constellation of low Earth orbit satellites, which will be launched by the GSLV Mark III rocket, are meant to provide internet connectivity on Earth. As a trust of 4,800 Moreover, recently the 36 passenger satellites belonging to the company arrived at the Chennai airport in India's southern state of Tamil Nadu. Thereafter, they have been transported to India's spaceport in Sriharikota, which is located in the state of Andhra Pradesh. As of today, before the launch of satellites takes place, two of the three stages of the GSLV Mark III rocket have been assembled. while the final step of the assembly will be that of the cryogenic engine, which is meant to accelerate the rocket in space and inject the satellites in the orbit. The Indian Space Agency ISRO pins a lot of hope on the GSLV Mark III rocket, which is the country's heaviest rocket. Well, later this month, by end of October, the GSLV Mark III rocket will be lifting off on its first ever commercial mission. So there'll be 36 satellites as part of a OneWeb UK company's constellation that will be taken to low Earth orbit by Mark III. And this will actually propel India into an elite league of nations that can offer commercial launch services at a certain cost. And this is particularly in the medium lift category. When we 
look at the global scenario, there are American and European companies that largely operate in this sector. And very soon, India will be part of that very niche market that can offer launch services at a cost. In addition to this, in the years to come, the GSLV Mark III rocket is also the one that is being modified to carry Indian astronauts to low space in low Earth orbit, particularly as part of the Gaganyaan Human Spaceflight Program. From Chennai, this is Siddharth MP, Vion, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.